Boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. My name is Robbie Mendez, and in today's video, we're gonna discover the new plugin from Mad Nash called DSC. Super excited for this one. He sent me his copy, and today I'm gonna try out this new freaking dope distortion. Uh, it's a multi band distortion plugin, so that's always interesting. So, without further ado, let's just dive straight in checking this plugin. Um, so, uh, let, let's, uh, let's open up the plugin. Um, like I said, it's called DST. Honestly, the interface already looks pretty sick. I love the Matt Nash logo there. Um, he explained me a little bit how it works. So basically, uh, you see all these knobs going on. Uh, the first one is just the gain. The second one is the distortion. So the amount of this distortion you put in. Then you have the frequency bands. Uh, you got low, low, mid, uh, mid, high and high. Um, more about that later on and then finally you have the output level because if you add distortion usually the sounds get louder so you can fix the uh, volume with the output um, then on the right you see three different uh, uh, distortion options uh, the first one which you can label as like soft distortion the second one is uh, uh, yeah I, I would say medium distortion it just has a different character to it and if you want to go full in hardcore mode there's this uh, third option which just uh, drives their sounds completely crazy and again gives a more uh, unique character to it but uh, we're gonna figure out how that sounds like on different sounds now then finally you have the edit option which is essentially uh, the, the in-depth version of all the knobs on here which is low, low, mid, mid, high, and high, uh, because you can drag them up, uh, drag them down, whatever. And uh, also you can uh, go left and right to um, make changes on the frequency, which I think is really unique. And of course it comes with presets, uh, I believe 10 presets, um, just for the lazy guys like me. If you don't want to figure out what's the best setting, just put one of those amazing presets on top and boom, your sound will blow away. Um, well, all that sounds pretty promising, but let's just test it to the max. Uh, let me put up the headphone. Um, let's just start with, um, just a default because I believe it loads up a little bit of, a um, a distortion in the beginning. Now, first I want to try with an initial preset from, uh, Zero. Um, so, um, there is just without, and this is with. Definitely changes the character already, which is a good thing has a lot of body um so let's uh, put everything to the max we love that that actually sounds pretty full already it's very um yeah has a lot of body to it you can tell the difference that, that's actually really sick. Uh, but let's just scroll through a couple of presets. Right notes. Boxy. Ooh, this has a lot of lows. More on the, the, the mid-high part. Whoa, low and push. That's actually sick. I, I reckon this one works pretty great on bass sounds. Ooh, love this one. Yeah, that reminds me to that uh, Swedish House Mafia. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so far, pretty great. I'm just gonna randomly scroll through presets. Alright, we got a brassy saw here. Um, again, let's go to the default and scroll through some presets. Whoa. That's a massive difference already. Love that. That is actually really insane. Check the difference. Wow. Let's let's see if we can change something in the edit function. What it actually does. Oh yeah. What I really love is like the 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 character is really changing because this is without. And this is with. 
it really feels like a solid distortion. It doesn't really ruin the sound, you know what I mean? Like sometimes, that's a that's a little bit with the distortion from FL Studio. Like if you, for example, put this one on top, it's like it just completely ruins the sound, really. And uh, with this, it's just more like. It's like subtle, kind of, and you can even go extreme by, of course, changing the the distortion type. And like you can go that extreme, but you have the option to also just add like a little bit, which is really nice. Um, but let's uh let's try to find like a different sound for it. All right, got this uh, typical slap house bass. Let's see what it does when I'm adding uh, some distortion. Mm -hmm. By the way, I love the fact that the interface is changing the brightness of the 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 plugin. Bring down a little bit of the output. Oh, love that. With, without, wow. That's actually a massive difference. Sick. Oh, by the way, if you have like a certain preset you really like, like for example, you tweak this and you'd be like, yeah, this is exactly how I wanna have the sound. You can also save that right here as a new preset. It's just gonna, uh, yeah, new uh, base, whatever. It's gonna save that. And then uh, it's gonna uh, just be in here and you can also easily delete that. So, all right, uh, let's try out some sort of a synth or something. Um, actually, that's a sound in Vital I created, which I'm very curious to what that sounds like. Um, it's that typical future rave sound, but um, yeah, the, the lead itself sounds already, in my opinion, pretty amazing. Um, it's called Future Rave Lead. <laughs> That's cool. And now let's add some DST. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I think if you add some mid high. Ooh. I think so far the middle one is for me the favorite, like the, the second type of distortion because it's like right in the middle. However, on this one, Sounds pretty epic as well. No, I think the yeah, no, the, the second one is for me the best so far. It's just just right into the middle. Love that. It just adds nice body to it. Um Let's try like some sort of a voice thing, like voice sounds. Is this is like uh, without, and let's apply some DST on top, and let's scroll through one of the presets. Whoa, this is way too extreme! Holy shit. That new bass one I just created was nice. The, this is the preset that I just created. Without. With. Definitely has a nice punch to it. Okay, let's do one more sound. Let's create a quick one in uh, silence. Hey, let me see. Bring down this one and add the filter. Maybe let's add in a little bit of noise. All right, uh, DST.
Let's go to the default and see if we can make this really extreme. I'm just trying out stuff. Don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, this is of course quite extreme. I think this sounds cool. Yeah, and then bring the filter. Let's uh, let's change the distortion type. Ooh, that's ooh. The last one was nice. Distortion type number three in this one is like really nice. All right, guys, uh, let's go to my final thoughts. I'm going to pick up the headphones. Um, DST by Matt Nash. I think it's a really dope plugin. Um, this plugin adds just a lot of flavor, character, and harmonics to your sounds, which I think is pretty amazing. Um, I love the fact that there are different distortion types. Um, the first one, of course, a bit softer, and then the last one, all the way extreme. And I'm the guy who's like right in the middle. So it's, it's just great to have the option. Um, one thing I also really liked is, of course, the fact that you can go in depth. So you can change the frequency band, um, of course, the width, but also the 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 amount of um, like the volume, basically. And the, it's just really amazing because, for example, if I boost this mid high one all the way to 20 dB, which is super extreme then still you have this knob on the main interface, which kind of like controls as a dry wet option. So you can slowly mix it in. And with that, you, you can just make it very precisely on adding your distortion. So, that's, that, so I think that's definitely the best feature on this one. Um, now, the only concern I have is that it's to me, it's a bit similar to the plugin Fab Filter Saturn, where you can also add in frequency bands and um, you know, make that a bit precisely, but still the distortion type definitely makes a difference. And the fact that the main knob uh, is connected to the frequency band. And like I said, it kind of works as a dry wet knob. So that is definitely a handy and smart f uh, uh, feature to have. Um, I would definitely use this into my production 100% for sure. And uh, like I said, I think it's pretty similar to Fabfield Saturn, but I will replace it because of the uh, two uh, benefits I just mentioned. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in this plugin, there's a link in the description. It's not sponsored, guys. It's it's not a sponsored video. I'm just good friends with Matt Nash, and he just gave me his copy, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make a video about it. Why not? It's a little review thing. Um, and this is just my honest opinion. I think it's really am amazing, and I would definitely use this into my production. So, with that being said, I wanna thank you for watching uh, this video. Uh, of course, don't forget to like the video, uh, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, you know to do. But anyways, guys, like I always tell in the end, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down. It's all fine. But for now, I want to thank you for watching this video. And hopefully, I'll meet you guys in the future in a brand new Robbie Mendes video on this channel. So subscribe. So you don't want to miss anything. Yeah. Peace. Thanks, guys. And speak to you soon. Peace.